Hey guys, it is Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to learn how to play White Wedding by Billy Idol. So we've got a lot of guitar layers in this one, but they're all pretty simple guitar parts. Um, so you're not, it's going to be better to have a couple of guitar players uh, that can do this live. Um, but I'll still show you all the different parts there. So let's start here with this intro word, standard tuning. And it starts just with a... Um, He's just going down the low E string, lightly placing your your uh, ring finger or whatever finger you want, and kind of tremolo picking. So just picking down up, and he's going across different harmonic node points as he goes down the string. So that's what it changes, gives it that strange little effect. And then we're into a B minor chord there. B minor is bar the second fret. 3rd fret there on the uh, B string, 4th fret on the G and the D. Alright, then we get to the main riff of the song. So what is going on there? This is built around a, a B minor chord. We're going to start with the um, F sharp, the second fret there on the high E string, to the third fret on the B, to the fourth fret on the G, back to the fourth fret now on the D string with your second finger. So we have this. Then go back up. So going down because same notes but going up. Then come back down to the B string. I know it's third fret on the B string, and then you hit your first chord, which is an E major chord, followed by a D major chord. All right. Then we go back into the same lick that we did before, and then we go into a D major chord. It's really a D power chord in this voicing, um, or you can put you can go up there and do this if you, there if you want a D major there. Uh, sometimes it's it might be easier actually to do that to do the full voicings that he he does um, in the recording. Which is um, let's just do it the easy way first. It's just a, a, like a D major chord, but you take this top note and move it to the fifth fret. So we have this uh, basically four top strings there, so two on the G string, three on the B, five on the high E. Or you could just play a, B, a D major chord here, bar chord, which is bar the fifth fret with the seventh fret on the B, G, and the D. And that goes into an E major chord with a G sharp on top. So you could play it like this. Um, so we have a bar here across the first three strings on the um, at the fourth fret, and then you're going to add the fifth fret there on the B string, the sixth fret there on the D, and then the seventh fret here on the um, fifth string, and you're going to hit the open E. So we have this. Now you might want to cheat it a little bit instead of getting the low E in there. You can actually hit the low E, and then just kind of play it like a D major chord on these top three strings up at the fourth fret. Just kind of brush that low E, and it kind of makes it easier. So you can go, and then to the you got to end it with the uh, E minor chord again. All right, then we get to the verse, which is a pretty simple part. Now the way Steve Stevens plays it live is like this.
All right, so that's just bar power chords here at the seventh fret on the low E string. So seven on the low E, nine on the A string. Then just all, just all downstrokes with a light palm mute here, right in front of the bridge. Just hit that like, what is that, 16 times or something? And then take it down to the fifth fret eight times, and then the open E power chord. So it's the open E string and the second fret on the A string eight times as well. So then you just go back between the three chords. So after you've gone through those uh, three chords twice, then you do go back to the first chord, then to the fifth fret power chord, hold there a little longer, then back up to the seventh fret. And that builds into the uh, ver the chorus. Now you can do those same chords here too if you want. So second fret on the A string there. The open A power chord. And then the open E power chord. So just, you know, wherever you really want to do it. I know he plays it here live. But then when we jump into the chorus, which sounds like this. So we have just an open A power chord. Just hit it once, let it ring. Then an E power chord, so it's the open E string with the second fret on the A string. Then the B power chord, which is off just the uh, second fret on the A, fourth fret on the D. Then back to the E. And then to a D power chord. The way you want to do this is just the open D string the second fret on the G and the third fret on the B and then back to the B so we have it like this so far A B e, and B now we're gonna go back to the E into a D and the B minor Take the full B minor chord there if you want and then we're back to the E and then we're gonna end it with that that D with the fifth fret there on the high E. All right, so then we work our way back through the verse again, the same little, but there's a guitar overdub with it. This is where you'd have a second guitarist help you out. Uh, and that they're doing this. I've seen Steve Stevens do a live together both. Kind of something like that, but uh, it's not really how the recording is, so we'll kind of stick with how the recording goes. So we're gonna stay here at the the uh, second fret on the G and third fret on the B. So just play those two notes four times. Now every time after I play, I'm just gonna release the pressure so it mutes the kills the sound. So we have this, and then just move down to the second fret on the B string, along with still the second fret on the G. And hit that three times and then back up to the chord you're at before just once so we have this so all together so he does that for a lot of the song uh, the remainder of the song you'll hear that going quite a bit now we have a kind of a guitar solo section which is pretty much the main riff of the song with a little extension at the end of it so we have that main riff this at that 1 minute 56 second mark of the song, by the way. So we have this. Same thing we saw earlier. The main riff. And then we continue with this. All right, so just let me show you after the main riff section that you already know. So it's just repeating this main lick that we did. You repeat that three times. 
And then from there we have the last one, he does this little extended ending to it. And I'll work you through those notes. It starts the same way. Now when you get to the G string, the fourth fret, then go two, one. Then the open B string, and then slide into the fifth fret on the B string. Then play three, two. So we have this so far. Then over to the two on the G string, four on the D, and end it with four on the G. All right, so that then it goes back into the same parts of the song you've, you've seen before. There is some overdubs at the very end of the song. Um, there's just a couple of bends that you'll hear in there. Um, there's one at the 13th fret on the B string. And then there's one at the 4th fret where he just does like a half step bend. 4th fret on the G, half step bend and release. And then he just continues it with the, uh, the dive bar with it. Alright, so that's about it. It's a, it's a fun song. Uh, you know, really catchy and not very difficult guitar parts. Hopefully you'll have a second guitarist help you out with it as well. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.